I use one brush. It's a number 10 flat brush. I don't know what kind of brush you call it. I do have other brushes, but I really like using this one. When I sit down to paint, I don't really know how it's going to work out. My oldest daughter, Lily, I think coined it the right way for what it is that I'm doing with the paint. I'm painting a character or a person that resembles the real life person just enough that it's recognizable, but there's definitely one or more or, or many flaws in the portrait that leave enough ambiguity so that every time you look at it, you see something different. And that makes me happy. I don't want to replicate someone else's work. You really can't help but replicate some or a few elements of someone else's picture or photograph. But I think leaving some interpretation, some gray area that leaves it open for each time you look at a painting. My hopes are that you see something different, puts you in a better mood, reminds you of a good time, reminds you of a, a time in your life that is not right now, if you're having a bad right now. If you're having a good right now, hopefully it inspires you to do something. You don't always feel creative every day. No way, I don't. But doing a little bit each day without obsessing about it, just trying to be noticed, gets in the way of being noticed. I purposely leave something out in the hopes that it's filled in when you look at it. I do love my work. Now I do. You can't create the perfect thing. If you did, there'd be no reason to do anything else.